What's going on YouTube as always is this for you as Hachi here to bring you a thought video on how I feel about E3 with uh, Sony's portion. So I've made a video like forever. So for that I apologize. Uh, maybe I'll start back consistently, maybe I'm not. Uh, still haven't decided on that. But anyway, uh so about like the PS4 exclusives. And I say yeah, I think most of the exclusives not necessarily I guess too thrilled about. I mean they all look good. Uh, but I mean most of the games that's coming out looks pretty good. Um, three of the games that are like PS4 exclusive or PS4 slash PC exclusive um, I'll talk about which is uh, the first one is uh, Until Dawn which honestly for me is not a game that I'm necessarily like oh yeah I would buy because honestly I probably wouldn't but I think the game itself is honestly it seems like a pretty good game especially for all you people that watch scary movies which I don't really watch scary movies I was never a fan of scary movies so and I don't necessarily care about the game per se but I think for those people that do enjoy horror movies especially classic horror movies because it's pretty much like the cabin in the woods uh, hopefully better because that movie was not good it's pretty much just like that but like a game and you can actually play through a horror movie now to me it seems pretty legit um, I mean I don't know everything about it but I know you play through eight different characters and depending on what you do and how you do it determines if those eight characters live or die uh, while you're being hunted by some random serial killer in the woods because you were stupid enough to stay at a cabin in the woods that probably no one knows about. But yeah, anyway, like I said, I'm not necessarily going to be probably even buy the game, but I think it is honestly a fantastic game if you do like that genre or you do like movies like that because it's really giving you a chance to play a horror movie. So I think, honestly, I think it probably would do pretty good um, just, for that, just for the fact of you're playing a horror movie. I um, mean, obviously the graphics looks good, but to me nowadays, graphics aren't even that big of a deal because we're in such a I don't know, technologically, technology, whatever uh, age, you kind of expect good graphics for the most part. So, I mean, graphics are fantastic. Now, I don't know how the gameplay is, but um, I think it'd be a great game. The one game that I'm actually surprised about. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, oh yeah, No Man's Sky. I had with my computer. No Man's Sky actually looks pretty good. I mean, honestly, the gameplay of it is decently basic as far as you're just traveling in a spaceship doing things. You can, you know, side with good people or bad people and all that fun stuff. And the graphics compared to nowadays, I would say, are decently mediocre. I mean, not bad. Like, it's not like you can be playing a PS4 and then thinking it's like a PS2 or something. But decent graphics, just not nothing necessarily spectacular. But to me, the, the thing that gives me the thing that I'm actually excited about is the universe. Um, since they're claiming that you can practically visit any star in the, like, existence. Like, not even just, like, a universe, but, like, literally all of existence. Like he scrolled out during the uh, presentation and he only had like the planet he was on and then had like seven other planets. Which is pretty normal for like space games nowadays. It's usually when you can explore you get like four planets to explore from and that's like you're traveling. But this game is supposedly I guess expands so much where you can literally visit over like billions and billions and trillions of different locations that are accessible and each one is going to be you know different unique and all that fun stuff so honestly that's what that's what gets me i would play like in one retrospect you could play the game for a hundred years and literally not visit every star in the game or every planet because that's what's amazing to me like i think i read it that there's over 18 quadrillion different planets to visit which i don't know what that number means I just know it's really big <clears throat> and the fact that you can visit every single planet to me is absolutely crazy so for that if they, if they can actually pull that off because I honestly don't think they can I think that's crazy if they can pull it off that would be absolutely amazing like uh, I forgot the guy that was presented but he was like you can visit you know all these different planets but out of all these planets that we created you probably won't visit most of them 
which if that's true or you know based off of what they're claiming to have over like 18 quadrillion different planets there's no way you can visit all that even one percent of that you would not visit um, so if they pull that off I think it'd be quite it'd be amazing and honestly it's a game that uh, I got I guess the plot is to get to the center of the universe which is probably easier than visiting every planet in existence um, but I could see myself not actually playing it to get to the center of the universe, but just playing it casually to explore. Um, and I even like one thing I already think was actually really neat that I haven't seen before is this, um, as you're flying around and you're going to these different planets. Once you get to the planet, like most space games, instead of just clicking, you know, like planet Earth and clicking X or A, and you just there's a cutscene, you go to the planet. In this one, you actually no crap fly. Like you navigate from outer space and you fly into the planet by yourself. Like there's no pressing a button. You just no dive in. So if that's me, that one just blew my mind through that and just the expansion of the uh, of the universe. I guess you call it. If they uh, if they could deliver that, I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. It's something that you play for like forever. Um, and then last but not least, the thing that caught my attention at least was Street Fighter V. That being a, a PS4 exclusive slash PC, I guess now. Um, I don't know, I find that interesting. Uh, Street Fighter is never necessarily an exclusive. Uh, obviously, Street Fighter IV came out on Xbox and PS3. Uh, and kind of 4 now. But I'm, I'm interested to see why or it, just how it's going to do it being just on PlayStation 4. I, mean, I think Street Fighter is obviously as popular. Um, I don't know if they necessarily sell as much as they do for like, you know, Halo or, you know, the games that make the systems. But I think honestly with it being a PS4 exclusive, I really don't think they would sell more honestly. I mean, if there's like special editions and whatnot and collector's editions, I think those probably would sell a smidgen more. But I, I think honestly it's going to hurt it more than help it. Uh, just the fact that it's not going to be Xbox. It's just going to be PlayStation. And honestly I think PS4 and Xbox One are pretty neck and neck. Uh, most people you know, you talk to either have one or the other or some both. Uh, so honestly I think it's going to hurt it more. But I mean me being a Sony guy, I kind of like the fact that it's just a PS4 game. Um, that, that's just personal preference, but for market and product retail, I really don't think, I think they're kind of shooting themselves in the foot. But if it goes good, then it goes good. Um, I don't know. But I'm excited for it. I mean, I'm excited for that in Tekken 7, just because I'm a pretty classic gamer type of guy. So I can't wait till both of those games comes out. And then, a little side note, that's pretty much, that's uh, that was my gist of the exclusives for the Sony. Uh, I've watched some of the Xbox exclusives, but I just wasn't too interested in it. But the thing that gets me with um, when E3 comes out is I never really get the reactions for games that you know are gonna be made. Like every time a new gen come out, <clears throat> um, you know the games that made the system are gonna come out. Like they're not gonna make an Xbox uh, three or four or whatever number they're on and not make another Halo. You know, they're not gonna make another PlayStation and not bring out like Uncharted or something. So I never really get why people get so excited about it. Um, Cause it's like it's something that you expect. Now obviously you're excited for you know, features and if you're a fan of a series you're like, yeah, yeah, it's played again, so I got that. But I feel like those really shouldn't be big reveals because it's something that you know is gonna happen. Because, and then to me it gets into that same weird space as like games like Street Fighter um, where the only thing you can really do is expand gameplay and you can add characters like I didn't watch the whole thing for Halo for Xbox and not, nor have I actually even played Halo I mean I played a few times but I'm definitely not like a fan of it but if you know every system is going to come out on um, all you can really do is add new features, but I don't know, I never really got the excitement with that. Like, Street Fighter, honestly, I think it's exciting because 
there's been a hiatus, you know, there's Street Fighter 1, 2, and 3, and then there's like 10 years almost before like the next one, 4 came out, and now 5's coming out because like, it's decently got popular again, but it's not something I necessarily just automatically expect, oh, there's going to be another Street Fighter. And Tekken, yes, I actually kind of do expect to be a Tekken. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily super popular, but there's always been a Tekken from 1 through obviously up to 7 now. Um, but I don't know, it's just like a random spill I just thought of. But anyway, I hope you liked this video. Um, I don't know, I won't be doing too many game reviews or anything similar to this. Uh, I just want to kind of make a video because I just figured why not. So if you enjoyed this video, always comment. Um, thumbs up the video if you thought the video was horrible thumbs it down tell me why obviously please share if you're not a subscriber subscribe like I said this is not a video I would normally do out of obviously I stick to the anime theme anime manga but it's not bad to do something different every now and again so I hope you like this video and that is it peace